An online incel community has erupted into brutal infighting after one of their leaders made a horrible decision and got laid. Which by the way, I don't actually think is a horrible decision. Love is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Intimacy is a beautiful thing. But if you're not getting laid, you probably don't like hearing about one of your leaders getting laid. And Which that's what's happening here. That is just so such an interesting component of that group mm -hmm. that you wouldn't be happy for them. Right. I mean, I'm not surprised by that, mm -hmm. right? Because incel communities find comfort in the community, being part of a community where they're not, they don't feel alone. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I get that. Listen, I get that. I think every guy that's ever existed goes through a phase where they're involuntarily celibate. Poor it's bastards. Just, it's just no. Yes, you get Look, what I'm saying. Uh, this is going to shock everyone, but I was not at all points of my life killing it. Mm, okay, mm, I am shocked, John. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> I, it's been so far back in the ancient primordial past that most people wouldn't remember, but. Yes, so by the way, lot that's an issue that can be psychologically damaging and stressful. Absolutely. And wanting a community to help you get through that makes all the sense in the world. Just the community some of these communities put together doesn't seem like the best for the individuals right. or for society. Usually when we hear about incel communities, it, it, it's usually because of the toxicity within them. And I think this story is a good example of that because you know, you should be happy for your homie. He mm -hmm. finally graduated out of the incel community and now is enjoying himself, if you will. Now, anyway, before we get to the details of this completely absurd story, we have to give you some context about the incel group and what have you. So, this whole saga revolves around the now former incel known as Commissage. Okay, so. He used to moderate an incel forum called incels.is. Now, while we're gonna have some fun with the story, we do have to make clear that the incel community that we're discussing is unfortunately comprised of people engaging in misogyny, if you will, misogynistic statements, comments. Yeah. Um, so let's give you a few examples. So based, and it's a quote tweet to women exist to give me sex. Oh yeah, man, so based. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. That aside, let's jump in. So on Monday, this guy posted this on social media. I feel a lot of mixed mixed feeling about leaving the incel community. While it feels good to no longer be incel, I'm going to miss all the friends and connections I've made. To all of you who have supported me over the years, thank you. I start a new chapter in my life. In my life. Albeit late, uh, and that is fascinating. And he, it is a little later in life. Like he's he's thirty one. Oh, I'm sorry, he's thirty three years old. Okay? okay, so you know it took a little bit of time, and that's okay. Everyone has their own journey, their own path. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you, yeah. right? So um, in a later post, though, he said that his uh, girlfriend is nineteen. <laughs> She's an adult. I'll just leave it there. Now he got plenty of congratulatory messages in response to that, but he also got from the community. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. No. And, good. And for those guys, good. I applaud you. That's it's good to be supportive. I'm happy that they didn't lose it. However, others did lose their minds over this. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few different examples. Let's start with this one. Don't worry, no one will miss you, fake cell. I hope that. Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to read huh. that. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. Um, I don't know why that individual is having trouble finding love. Yeah, it's I shocking. can't come up with any explanation. I mean, I, I I feel like they would know how to communicate effectively with women, so I don't know what's what's wrong here. Uh, other comments, traitor. Uh, <laughs> traitor. This the equivalent of LeBron retiring. The incel community has lost their biggest prospect. I love that the person's handle is wasted talent, implying that this is a genre of commentary that they engage in. Okay, this is my favorite because it reminds me of some leftist on Twitter. He was never an incel if he was able to get laid, especially through Discord. Okay, so. But what does that mean? Like the whole, oh, you're never a leftist anyway. 
But in this context, it's the insult like, thing. I don't know went, what it means. It's nonsense. He years of being an he incel or whatever, and that wasn't good was enough for you people. He was 33 when he yeah. lost his virginity. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm look. I'm glad that there were some people that were happy for him or whatever. And by the way, I'm sure there are incel communities that are more productive or positive. There, there definitely is a thing where. It's not about this is a bad thing and together we'll get past it. It's kind of like a like lay get rid of your hope because your hope is going to give you pain. So just assume that you're always going to be like this and shroud yourself with something new which is hatred and fear of everything else in the world, which definitely does not help these people. The reason I'd said that that guy's previous comment was fascinating was and I get that he's starting a relationship, which I think is an important part of this. It's not just he hooked up with someone and now he's like, and now I enter the next phase of my life. But like a lot of the guys in that community probably feel like that is true. That if you just had sex once, then everything changes. And I mean, look, I guess definitionally it, it has. It kind of does though. Does it? If your whole community is based on not being able to get laid. Sure, to them, but I'm saying. It isn't the most important thing ever. No, you could have one not. brief unsatisfactory sexual experience and then go right back to being a hateful a-hole that nobody wants to be around. Yeah, that's true too. That's like true too. Being but that's a not what better the person about. that the community... people want to be with is an attainable goal. Mm -hmm. No, it is isn't absolutely, but it seems like they've lost the plot, right? It seems like they went from Oh, this is our support group for men who are frustrated because they haven't gotten laid yet to not getting laid is now our identity and we must protect that identity at all costs. That's the sense that I'm getting from some of these commenters. Yeah. Here's a few more examples. If you ascend, you were never an incel in the first place. That's not how time works. <laughs> Things move on, events, causes. I just want to give these it's guys not. a hug and tell them it's gonna be okay. One day you too will get laid. This is just well, a normal maybe. part of life. No, I think they will. They just need to like. No, I don't. Mean, I'm not talking about people in general. I'm saying the individual people who posted those comments. Listen, honestly, seem to be pretty aggressive. Your participation in this group certainly minimizes the likelihood because. You're not going out there. You're not socializing. You're you're on this like online forum where you're stewing in your bitterness and resentment. That's not going to yeah. help you. Um, by the way, this truly bizarre exchange was also a, a, a highlight. I'm going to give that to you right now. So one person says it's honestly disgusting that you betray your community when some chick finally settles for you. I love the dig that she's settling. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why this guy wants to leave this community. They're so nice and supportive. Um, by the way, I'm not even down on them for being in a community that turns like bitter and resentful. I'm in, involved in a lot of subreddits. All of them generally are bitter and resentful. The WWE one I'm in is bitter and resentful about everything that happens. The League of Legends one I was in thinks every champ is OP. There's lots of communities that are not super positive. That doesn't mean that you can't find love. The issue is if the thing that you are trained to be bitter and resentful about is your place in the world, how women have done this to you, how it's a part of all this big conspiracy. Then that is that is not going to help you. You can be bitter and resentful about a lot of stuff and still find love, but you are being like you think these people might be supportive of you. They're not trying to help you. They're trying to keep you down. It is mm -hmm. a toxic community, yes, yes. not just towards the world, but towards you. John, why can't you start a community for young men and inspire them? I'm sure the audience can come up with a lot of reasons, but I, no, I'm not against it. I talk about masculinity you. a lot. I try I to that. demonstrate a better path forward. Yeah, you should. I'm married, having a kid. John's doing well, guys. I'm trying. And he's a good guy. He's one of the best guys I know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's possible. Listen, I wasn't popular in elementary school or high school. It happens. Yeah, it's just part of life. It's part of growing up, and you're going to be all right, but don't. Immerse yourself in toxicity, it's not gonna do you any favors. I wanna go back to graphic nine, because I wanna just kind of go through this exchange that Commissarge had with this this guy, AJ09269661. 
honestly, it's honestly disgusting that you betray your community when some chick finally settles for you. To which Commissage responded, well, enjoy being a virgin for some weird cause. No one wants to be incel, you're not Jedi. And in response to that, AJ says, this is why the incel community will never start a movement and bring about change. <laughs> it only take, I'm not gonna read that. It only takes one lady, okay, lady. It, it only takes one lady uh, to sacrifice herself and give some crumbs of I don't her even want to guess. I don't want to even guess. And the whole movement would collapse due to too many. But what movement, AJ? Betraying? What movement, AJ? Change? What's the movement? What's what? the what are you trying to accomplish here? What do you mean movement? What what is the change that you, that people shouldn't be allowed to decide who they have sex with and choose for themselves who that is? I don't know. Look, I I don't know what that person believes, and I want to be very clear. I don't really care. I'm going to forget they exist now. Um, but look, Why? there was they the have thing such with, a memorable handle. Yeah, there was the thing with too many numbers. There was this thing with Steven Crowder where he seemed to be at least implying that he thinks you shouldn't be able to get divorced if you want to. I know. There yeah. are definitely people who believe Jordan Peterson made comments like this that dating and sex should not be a thing where everybody goes out, they decide who they want to be with, they consent to it, and then it happens. They think it should be structured. Mm -hmm. they, they think they think the economy should be like everybody go wild, do whatever you want, but in the dating economy. The government should figure it out or society or your parents or whatever cuz they think it's chaotic, they're scared of it and so they want someone to make the decisions for them. And and not for them so much as for the woman and force a woman to sleep with someone she apparently doesn't want to. I wonder if there are maybe some asexual people included in this group and they find comfort being around others who aren't having sex. I don't know if that's what this person's referring to. I, I've never heard of that as being a component of the of incel communities. I don't know. Yeah, no I idea. But um, it's strange. And if you have graduated out of this group, ascended. If you've ascended, you should Ooh. celebrate. You should celebrate. In fact, I want more of the uh, individuals in this group to move on with their lives. This isn't helping you at all. At all. <sighs> Anyway, by the way, Nick Fuentes also like lost his mind when one someone in his community of incels ended up engaging in a relationship. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.